not planning to rent a car in Cappadocia, a green tour is a great way to see some of the best attractions in the region in a short time. The tour includes one of the Turkey's mysterious underground city, the picturesque Hilara Valley, Selim Monastery, a panoramic viewpoint and a couple of other smaller stops. It starts 9.30 in the morning and the price is 35 euros including lunch. The first stop is the Garemi Panorama, offering a stunning panoramic view of Garemi. The viewpoint gives a 180-degree view of Cappadocia's ferry chimneys, with the Uchisar Castle at a distance. Next up on our list is a view of Pichin Valley, which gets its name from the hundreds of dove coats that have been carved in the soft tufa rock in this region. The pigeons have always played an important role as the messengers in the lives of Cappadocian people. This place was once home to thousands of pigeons, but now only a few hundreds remain. Cappadocia is famous for its strange Martian landscape, but not many people know of the hundreds of subterranean settlements that remain hidden within the surface of Cappadocia. Derinkuyu is an ancient multi-level underground city, extending to a depth of approximately 85 meters. It's large enough to have sheltered as many as 20,000 people together with their livestock and food stores. Caves have been built initially in the soft volcanic rock by the Phrygians in the 8th 7th centuries BC. The city at Derinkuyu was fully formed in Byzantine era, when it was heavily used as protection from Muslim Arabs. The city was connected with another underground city, Kaimakli, through 8-9 kilometers of tunnels. The cities continued to be used by the Christian natives as protection from Mongolian incursions of Timur in the 14th century. As late as the 20th century, the city was still in use by the local population of Cappadocian Greeks and Armenians. The underground city at Derinkuyu is encompassed by 18 levels of tunnels and could be closed from the inside with a large rolling stone doors. Each floor could be closed off separately. Each level of the city was carefully engineered for specific uses. Livestock was kept in stables nearest to the surface to reduce the smell and toxic gases. The inner layers of the city contained dwellings, cellars, wine and old presses, storage rooms, schools and meeting spaces. A short break at Nar Lake, which is particularly known for its scenic importance. Volcanic origin, it resembles a hut when viewed from above. Well, of course not for this kind of weather. Ihlara Valley is a canyon which is 15 kilometers long and up to 150 meters deep that was formed by the volcanic activity of the Mount Hassan, an erosion by the Melendis River 100,000 years ago. Perhaps the most interesting part about the Hlara Valley is the presence of numerous rock-cut churches here. Dating back to the 7th century, these Byzantine churches are adorned with gorgeous murals and religious frescoes. The painting program has been severely damaged. Although the interior was fully plastered and painted, only the upper walls still have paintings. Ihlara Valley is one of the most popular hiking locations in all of Turkey, sort of like a mini Grand Canyon. The hiking trail is 3 kilometers, and normally it's a pleasant walk for about an hour to enjoy the views, but we hurried up as the weather was quickly changing to worse.
Leaving the canyon, the heavy snowfall started, and as a result we got to an accident. The car we bumped to had no winter tires. The last stop is Selima Monastery, which is probably the most tricky climb of the day, especially with the snowfall, but totally worth it. Selima Castle is the largest and most deliberate cave complex in Cappadocia. The multi-level Byzantine settlement is cut into a cliff that is 50 meters above the valley and includes an enormous kitchen, two halls, a basilica church and other rooms sculpted around two adjacent courtyards. The enormous size and prominent location indicate the importance of Selima Castle, which was built in the 900s. In the 11th century, along the Silk Road, it was converted into caravan sarai, with lots of stables for camels, where both merchants and their animals could stay together without any fees for three days. This system was started during the Seljuk Empire to improve their trade in Turkey. If you enjoyed watching this video, I encourage you to subscribe, click like and hit notification bell button to get updated of the new releases.